Meteorologist Scott Dorvell with the Idaho News 6 forecast. Good evening, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the day today. It was nice to get outside. A little bit of a breeze if you're going out for a walk or a jog or a run this morning, maybe a bike ride, but not bad at all because the temperatures just really didn't heat up all that quickly. And we got to the low 80s, and tomorrow will be similar, but tomorrow we won't have the wind to deal with. Enjoy it because it is going to heat up. Live look at downtown Boise. Beautiful blue skies going on right now, and I mean it is just gorgeous outside. That breeze, not all that bad. 81 degrees, gust of 22, but that will settle down. When that sun goes down this evening, you could have a nice evening to sit outside, and it will cool down rather quickly as well. So 81 right now, and if you look across the region, high temperature, that's it. 81 in Boise. Tomorrow we may go up a couple of degrees. This is the coolest location across the entire country where the heat is blasting everywhere, but cool weather has pushed into the northwest and uh, so enjoy it it's uh, quite comfortable indeed and it may not be the end of it all of that blue is the 24-hour temperature change you see a 10 to 15 degree temperature drop from yesterday across the region so we're getting the cooler weather it sticks around for another day so when should you water this week if you haven't uh, you're looking for some days here the rest of the week and eh, maybe you have it off for tomorrow and on for thursday and friday which isn't a bad idea because on saturday we could top a hundred degrees for the first time this year in parts of the treasure valley it is highly likely that's going to be the case so just keep that in mind. You want to give your, gr uh, your lawn a good drink of water. Make sure it's a deep watering, too, so that the roots have to work hard to get down. And that'll help the uh, lawn survive uh, when it gets real hot. So if you look to the east here, you see some thunderstorms uh, still over uh, just west of the Yellowstone area. Throughout this region, you just see the energy jet stream just feeding right into this. And we see the storms forming. Just some clouds here. We did have some storms just north and purely over the McCall area earlier today all part of this little trough of low pressure right here. That's warm and breezy conditions sweeping through. So the breeze is with us one day, the warm stays with us two days, the heat has been suppressed to the south, but then uh, the heat will start to come back in, we'll get to near 90, and then this next storm system will take the same route going across northern Idaho, maybe a thunderstorm in the McCall area Thursday night, Friday. The temperatures will hold at 90, but once that storm system passes by, this heat will come surging in for Saturday rapidly, and we'll get up to near 100 degrees. This was 8.05 this morning at Payette Lake. Rain was coming down as expected. It was a chance for a shower this morning. That was about the only location. And by 9 o'clock, the blue skies were there. We've had a few clouds during the day today with lingering moisture aloft, but that's it. So it's cool. It's breezy. Not the best boating day at Payette Lake, but that's going to change here in my extended forecast. A chilly morning tomorrow, 71 in the afternoon. But by Saturday sunshine, a straight thunderstorm is possible Friday morning, late Thursday night, but sunshine Saturday. It does get cooler on Sunday. Saturday is your boating, your pick boating day. Sun Valley there, you can see them there, they're golfing in the background. That's uh, an almost live picture back there. 74 degrees in the forecast though for tomorrow. Oh, nice and comfortable. Near 80 Thursday, Friday, a warm 84 on Saturday. And keep in mind, it goes down to 47 degrees in the morning at Sun Valley. Not bad at all. And the 10 to the 8 to 14 day outlook, because these cool storm systems keeps coming through will be below normal and that will stop us from getting these massive number of hundred degree days we may barely have one by the middle part of july it does look like the end of july though we could have a blast of heat coming in and it could be our first heat wave of the season the last week of july just keep that in mind i'll keep you updated my idaho news six weather forecast for the treasure valley temperatures tomorrow much like today maybe a degree or two warmer lighter breeze sunshine just a spectacular day tomorrow idaho city you've got 78 degrees gorgeous day coming up comfortably mild in mccall at 71 it'll be 81 in riggins if you can get up there rafting is perfect right now you'll love it 72 in stanley and 75 in sun valley with a comfortably mild day sunshine for everybody extended forecast treasure valley keeping it at 83 for one more day then near 90 for thursday and friday as we heat up and then we really ramp it up on saturday close to 100 degrees some places in the valley above 100 degrees but it goes right back to the 80s on monday and tuesday so 100 degrees sounds good on saturday as long as we're going to cool it down a little bit as we get to the middle part of next week. Just for a day, not too bad at all. One day only. One day only. All right, thanks, Scott.